Okie dokie. In this problem, they give us a couple statements, and the goal is to identify what the equation for m should be. So, uh, let's go over a couple things first. Whenever you see the word proportional, say for example, if y is proportional to x, that means we can represent y as the product of some constant k and x. So, y is equal to k times x if y is proportional to x. If y is inversely proportional to x, that means that we can represent y as the quotient of some constant k over x. So inversely means you're throwing x on the bottom. Proportional means you're multiplying by x out in front. And k will always just be out in front no matter what. It just represents some constant. So let's see if we can apply this rule to this situation here. So they start by saying m is proportional to the square root of z, which means we can follow this format and say that m is equal to k, k is always in place, m is equal to k times the square root of z. Why do I multiply k and z? Because they tell us it's proportional to the square root of z. That means that we use this rule where we just multiply k and x. We multiply whatever the value m is proportional to. So, um, so we have m is equal to k times square root of z. And then they say m is inversely proportional to n. So over here, inversely proportional to x meant that we threw x in the denominator. Same rule applies here. We will use what we've already constructed and just throw n in the denominator. So we have m is equal to k times square root of z over n, and it looks like our best choice is option c. So we break out the eraser, and we see that c is our answer. Feel free to check out the second example I will work out for this one.